If you've been having some issues logging in today, it's because Steppen has been pushing out a major update today. Today, Steppen released a major update that will be changing some of the game dynamics going forward. One of the biggest things released in today's update is that GMT is now officially live and part of the app. You can see that because of this, GMT's price to date is up over 11%. In today's video, we will discuss how GMT will be used in the app and get prepared because you will be needing some GMT in order to level up to certain levels now. Another major update today is the new Easter event, which is now officially live. The Easter event will be a seven day event and you will be able to possibly get the Easter mystery boxes if you have over two energy. There are also some buffs on the gems, which will now make them more relevant in the game. And a major partnership and new chain where you will be able to buy, sell, and earn GST on. We'll be covering all of this and more in today's video. Don't wanna miss it, guys. Let's dive right in. All right, so the first thing in the update for 0.6.3 is Steppen now supports the BNB chain. So what exactly does this mean? If you open up your app right now on the top right, you'll see that there's an S, that S is for Solana. If you actually hold down on that S, you'll see that it says multi-chain switch. So at that point, you can switch between Solana and BNB smart chain. So why is this happening? What exactly is going on right now with this? So it's all started with a partnership with Binance. You can see that Binance NFT tweeted, we're proud to bring Steppen official for an exclusive IGO launch soon. So IGO means initial game offering. So not only did they partner up with Binance, but they also got a partnership with ASICs. So Binance will be launching Steppen ASIC NFT sneakers. So in this limited release, there will be 1,000 sneakers at 0.5 BNB per sneaker. So at BNB's current price, that's about $200 per sneaker, about a $1,000 discount on the market prices. Now, in order to be able to try to get these sneakers, you have to be subscribed to whatever this Binance NFT thing is. I guess the way you do that is by staking your tokens. I've honestly never tried any of this. I didn't even know this existed until this news was released. So this release is supposed to happen about 16 hours from now. So at 12 o'clock UTC tomorrow. So this is pretty big. Not only is Steppen now a multi-chain game, but partnerships with both Binance and ASICS, which is a real sneaker company. That's exactly the type of potential that I was talking about for this app. And I think this is just the beginning. Imagine partnerships with Adidas, Nike, and those likes going forward. I think the sky is the limit. Also by being on multiple chains, whenever there's an issue on one chain, you could just swap over to the other chain and either earn on that chain or swap your money over to that chain to send it out or whatever it is you wanna do. So the next update here was that they added GMT trading pair in wallet. So now when you open your wallet, you're going to see this. You can now buy tokens on Binance. You'll see on the top middle here that it currently says Solana, and that's also where you can switch from one chain to the other. Now when you look at your wallet account, you can see that GMT is now officially there. So now you're able to transfer GMT onto and off of the wallet. You can also trade any of your coins for GMT or trade your GMT for GST, trade it for Sol, for USDC, whatever it is you want. So GMT is now officially part of the app and we'll get into some more of its utility in the app. So the next thing is that the Easter event is now officially live. When you open up your apps now, you will see on the left-hand side a little Easter egg with a countdown. Currently it's at six days, 19 hours and 18 minutes. So this event will last for a period of seven days. So in their recent AMA, they announced that during the Easter event, when you open up a mystery box, it will have something extra in the box for you. So we don't know exactly what that extra is yet. And if I get one, I will definitely open it up and I'll record it as well so you guys could see it. But I'm thinking that it might be some free GMT included with whatever other gem or whatever else is in the box. So we'll have to wait and see what exactly that extra thing in the mystery boxes is. 
Another thing that they added to this update is that the mystery boxes you can no longer open for free. Before when you would earn a mystery box, there was a countdown and as a countdown ran down, it would become cheaper and cheaper to open up the mystery boxes until eventually it was free to open it up. That will no longer be the case. Now there will be a minimum cost to open every single mystery box. So you can no longer open them for free. All right, so we also got some adjusted metrics around gems, shoe upgrades and shoe boxes. So let's go over what exactly this means. So they've given a buff to gems. As we've spoken about before the gems just weren't very relevant so we weren't too focused on them that's also one of the reasons why we never upgrade luck in our attribute points so the devs have definitely been paying attention to the community and are trying to make the gems more relevant in the game so what they've done if you now look at the app and you go to gems or if you have any gems you will notice that not only is it now plus two but they also have a 5% bonus. And if you go ahead and click on the gem, you will see that it says to the attribute, it gives a plus two resilience, but it also has an effect that gives plus 5% to the base resilience. So basically whatever your base resilience is, it gives a 5% boost to it. So for example, my shoe has a base resilience of 9.5. So 9.5 plus 5% makes it 9.975. So it's not a huge boost, but it's something. Again, remember this applies directly to your base resilience. So that means a 9.5, not your upgraded resilience. So I'm not gonna get a 5% bonus to my 27.5, I'm gonna get a 5% bonus to my 9.5. So if I put it on right now, instead of 27.5, I'll actually have 27.975. So that upgrade plus adding the minimum cost has definitely been boosting the price in the market for these gems as you guys can see all the gem floor prices are pretty much up with gmt officially added to the app they will begin giving it more and more utility within the game itself so one of the main utilities added for gmt in order to burn gmt is that now you will also need gmt in order to upgrade at certain levels so i believe starting today if you're leveling up your shoes to level 5 10 20 29 or 30 you will now also need to to pay with GMT. So it's gonna be whatever the cost was before with GST plus a new cost with GMT. Some other utility that GMT will have is that you'll be able to burn GMT to upgrade level four plus gems. You'll be able to burn GMT to mint rare, epic, and legendary sneakers. And you'll be able to burn GMT to redistribute attribute points. Now, I don't think all of those are in the app as of yet, but I believe that this first one is the one that was part of today's update. Some of the other utility that GMT will also have is burn GMT to permanently increase GST daily earning cap, burn GMT to permanently improve success rate of all gem upgrades, burn GMT to permanently improve the chance to receive a higher quality sneaker from opening a shoebox, and burn GMT to permanently improve the chance to receive two sneakers from shoe mincing. So in the AMA, they only spoke about needing GMT in order to level up. They didn't really talk about any of the other use cases. So I believe they will slowly be implementing these different use cases and utility for GMT as they introduce it into the app. So the last three updates here, um, I don't think there's really much to talk about. It says they improved experience around running, fixed data display issues, and improved account cancellation process. So not really too much to cover on that. Now they did do a live AMA yesterday, and these are some of the notes from that AMA. Let me see if there's anything that we missed. All right, so one of the big ones here that they spoke about in the AMA is that they will have a trailblazer event after the Easter event ends. So what exactly does that mean? What exactly is a trailblazer event? It will be a 48 hour event. So a two day event where you will receive triple your earnings during the event. So if you're earning 10 GST per day on those two days, you'll be able to earn 30 GST per day. For me, I'm currently earning around 50 per day, so that means that I'll be earning 150 per day during that event. I'll be trying to have my nine shoes by then, so I could be earning up to 100 per day and do 300 per day during that event. That'll be 600 GST. At current prices, that would be $2,652 in a two day period if I can get up to nine shoes by then. So they said that they will let us know about the event a few days before. And on the day of the event is when they will open the GMT use case to increase daily GST earning cap. 
So basically in order to earn more than your current earning cap during that triple up event, you will need to basically burn GMT. So another thing that they mentioned during the AMA is that with the new BNB chain, you can't mint one soul sneaker with one BNB chain sneaker to create a new shoe box. So that would not be possible. If you have one shoe on each chain, you will not be able to mint those together to create a new shoe. So they're still working on some updates for the marketplace with the filters and some of the other features, but they will now be delayed to the coming months as they prioritize and focus strictly on the GMT use cases for the moment. They also said that they hit a new high in their daily active users with 300,000 people. The last thing that they spoke about yesterday was that on the mystery boxes, waiting time will now be reduced by two days. I'm not 100% sure what the waiting time was before, but they are now reducing that waiting time. And that's pretty much it, guys. I think we covered everything in today's update. If you guys are new to Step In, don't forget to check out these two videos that we released last week, the Step In Beginner's Guide and the Step In Strategy Guide. I will link these in the description and in the comments. I will also add them at the end of this video. So if you guys are new, if you've missed any of these videos, I strongly suggest to check them out. Thank you guys, I will see you on the next one. As always, peace and love.